हेलो गाइज आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड वी आर डिस्कसिंग साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मटीरियल्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टू टाइप्स ऑफ मटीरियल्स फर्स्ट मेटल एंड देन द नॉन मेटल्स सो वॉट आर द डिफरेंट मटीरियल्स दैट वी हैव इन आर डेली लाइफ वी आर डीलिंग विद अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मटीरियल्स वी आर डीलिंग विद अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सब्सटांसिस विच आर मेड अप ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मटीरियल्स लाइक हेयर ऑल्सो इफ यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो ऑन योर लाइफ laptop it is made up of a material if you are watching this video on your mobile phone it is made up of a material now we need to know the two classifications the metal and the non metal right so we can classify them based upon the physical properties and secondly based upon the chemical properties we are going to look into both of them what are the physical properties which are classifying the given material as metal and non metal and the chemical properties as well so the first physical property is the malleability so now you all must have seen the aluminium foils or you must have seen the silver sheet which is used for the decorative purposes on the sweets right so this shows the properties of a material which is called the metal that it is able to drawn into the thin uh, sheets so this is known as the malleability property right so according to the malleability properties metal can be beaten into the form of thin sheets on the other hand if i talk about the non metals they cannot be beaten into the form of thin sheet you must not have ever seen the thin sheets of coal right or carbon right or sulfur so now the next properties the metals are the good conductor of heat and electricity city if you want to lift up a hot utensil of aluminium you cannot do that but if you want to lift up this hot utensil with a wooden handle on it so you can do that right so now the metals are good conductor of heat and electricity they can conduct heat as well as electricity you must have seen the switches made up of the plastic because it is not able to conduct the electricity right now coming to the ductility ductility means metals can be drawn into the form of thin wires if you want to make the metal into the form of a long thin wire you can do that on the other hand if you want to make a long thin wire of carbon you cannot do that or sulfur also you cannot do that now the metal produce ringing sound which, which is called the sonorous property of the metals right metal produces ringing sound when they are beaten with anything right so this is the next property of the metal whereas the non metals won't be producing any sound then they are lustrous and they are hard right they will be having some shine on them if you see uh, gold if you see silver there must be some shining on them right whereas if you see carbon there is no shine if you see sulfur there is no shine on them right so it is hard as well right it cannot be broken down easily you must have seen uh, the bridges made up of iron which is a metal because it cannot be broken down very easily it is hard also the automobiles are made up of metals right so for example we have iron copper aluminium these are my metals right and for the non metals we have coal we have sulfur right so now coming to the chemical property these are all the physical properties by which we can differentiate a metal with a non metal now chemical properties first we are going to see the reaction with oxygen we all know iron can react with oxygen magnesium can react with oxygen they are going to rust in the presence of oxygen and water right so this is the example of copper so copper it's having the reaction with the oxygen in the presence of water and carbon dioxide so 2 cu h2o plus co2 plus o2 is going to give me cuoh2 plus cu co3 so if you see the copper vessels they will be getting some green covering when you left them in the water and air right so it is due to the presence of cuoh2 cu co3 due to the reaction of copper with co2 h2o and o2 right so this is the dull green coating on the copper which is known as the rust similarly we all know iron will be having the rust when it is exposed to water and oxygen now the metal oxides that are formed these are basic in nature which means the litmus paper will be turning blue 
with the metal oxide now this is the example of the non metal reacting with the oxygen sulfur is a non metal it is reacting with oxygen to form the sulfur dioxide and the sulfur dioxide can also react with water to form the sulfuric acid now this sulfuric acid is a acidic nature material right so now non metal oxides are acidic it is going to turn the litmus paper red right now coming to the reactions with water how these metals and non metal are going to react with water sodium is going to react vigorously with water thus it is stored in the kerosene oil right and most of the metals they don't react with water that vigorously right if you see uh, if you put water on iron if you put water on gold if you put water on silver these are not going to react that fast right so non metal like sodium are going to react vigorously and they are stored in the kerosene iron will be having very slow reaction with water that we all know and the phosphorus is stored in water because phosphorus when it is left in oxygen it is going to burn right oxygen and the phosphorus react very vigorously and this is the reason it is stored in water phosphorus will be having very less reaction with water so i cannot say the non metals are reacting very vigorously always and always sodium reacts vigorously with water but but phosphorus is stored in water it is non reactive with water right so now coming to the reactions with acid how metals and non metals are going to react with acid metals react with acid and they are going to produce h2 and how do we verify it when you react any metal with acid you put a match stick burning match stick in uh, nearby to it and it is going to extinguish with the pop sound right so it is going to produce the hydrogen now reaction with base metals are going to again produce the hydrogen but here the reaction is a complex reaction which is called the displacement reaction so you can see here we have cuso4 where copper is a metal right and it is reacted with the zinc which is again a metal so here because zinc is more reactive than copper it is going to displace the copper right and it is going to form znso4 which is colorless so the blue colored solution of coso4 will be converting into the colorless solution of znso4 plus we will be having the precipitate of copper which are red in color right so we will be having the more reactive metal always and always replacing the less reactive one zinc is more reactive than copper so it can replace the copper from cuso4 but on the other hand if i have this to be the initial solution znso4 plus cu cu is less reactive than zn so it cannot displace the zn right so this reaction will not take place in the reverse direction right so now the metals will be used for a lot of things in our daily lives it is used for machinery it is used for making vehicles automobiles aeroplanes your car everything is made of metals then utensils also are made up of metals if you see in your daily lives you can come and also what all other things you are using of metals now coming to the non metals non metals for example we have oxygen it is used for breathing non metals are used for fertilizers for water purifiers for antiseptics and even for crackers and again if you find any non metals surrounding to you put that in the comment and show me what are the non metals that you are aware about now coming to the metalloids metalloids are the materials which will be having the properties of metals as well as non metals so these are in between the metal and non metal we cannot completely call it as a metal we cannot completely call it as a non metal some properties will be of metals and the rest are of non metals so i hope you understood all three types of materials that we have if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and also give me your feedback thank you so much